I'm going to introduce you to the MISO communication method based on the key principles of the Minto Pyramid model. The Minto Pyramid principle was developed for consultants at McKinsey by Barbara Minto to help them structure their reports to make a decisive impact on clients. It has been adopted around the world by professionals seeking to structure their communication and presentations for the best possible impact. The Minto Pyramid Principle is a hierarchical structure that creates a logic and data-supported storyline. One of the key principles of this model is that your presentation starts with an introduction that states both the issue you're addressing and your solution or answer to the issue or problem. The rest of the presentation supports your solution or answer. In this model, your data, or rationale, come after the answer. Your key message, or answer, is supported by a combination of supporting arguments that, together, create the logical storyline naturally leading to the conclusion that your key message is correct. Each supporting argument is made irrefutable with the help of rationale, proof, and data. This model may also seem backwards to you because you express your answer or solution at the beginning of the presentation rather than building toward it at the end. Your question at this point may be, why is it effective to present the answer up front versus through a reveal? Here are some reasons. The audience's attention wanes throughout the presentation. Stating your answers up front ensures more engaged participants. Knowing your direction immediately allows the audience to follow your logic versus wondering or assuming where your logic is leading. Too often we focus the majority of time and effort on the supporting data and we struggle to get to the key message. If our audience challenges our data in the beginning of our presentation, before we get to our conclusion, we can get sidetracked with that discussion and never get to the key message of our presentation. In the Mento model, the introduction is incredibly important and powerful. Note how the Mento model is represented as a pyramid. That is to show how the presentation builds and supports the supporting arguments for your key message. The top of the pyramid, the introduction, includes your key message presented according to what is referred to as the SCQA format. Your introduction will make clear what you're going to talk about, why it's important, what problem you're going to answer, and what your answer will be. SCQA stands for Situation, Complication, Question, and Answer. Let's look at each in more detail. For the sake of simplicity and understanding these concepts, let's use an everyday example. In this example, you're influencing your family or friends to take a European vacation. S, the situation, is your starting point. It is a neutral description of the current state with facts you know your audience will agree on. In our European example, the situation as I see it that we have been talking about seeing Europe together for the last five years. None of us is getting any younger. I finally have the means to invest in a vacation, and so this year is the year. See how this is a neutral description, and I'm stating some facts or information that's already well known by my audience? C is the complication. This is the so what of the situation. It describes the challenge or obstacle that is evident in the situation. For our example, the biggest conflict I see in our taking a European vacation this year is all of us agreeing on the itinerary. Next is the cue, the question. This is the question on the minds of your audience. It needs to be a single, simple question and reflect the main question on the mind of the audience. The four typical question types are, one, what should we do? Two, how should we do it? Three, should we do it? Four, why did it happen? Question one, what should we do? This is used when your presentation is to influence or persuade your audience. Question two, how should we do it? A useful question if the solution or direction has already been determined and your presentation is about how to execute it. Question three, should we do it? Use this question if your presentation needs to lead to a decision from the audience. And question four, why did it happen? This is a good question when your presentation is looking to inform. For our example, we want to influence, 
So the question is, question one, what should we do? Or specifically, the question is, where in Europe should we go on this trip? The last letter, A, is our answer. Present your answer to the question. This can be your recommendation if you're looking to influence, the action or next steps you're proposing if you're looking to inform, or the decision that needs to be made if you're looking for a decision. The answer for our example is, my recommendation is that we do our tour of famous World War II sites on our European vacation. Creating the SCQA can take time. The good news is, when you've done it, your presentation's introduction almost writes itself. Below your key message are supporting arguments for that key message. Supporting arguments answer the question, why and how? The most common three why and how questions are, one, why should we do this? Two, how should we do it? Three, how do I know it's the right thing to do? Below each supporting argument is your supporting data. In our European example, I answer the question, why should we do our tour of famous World War II sites on our European vacation? See my three great data points providing the rationale for why in the example. I also answer the question, how should we do it? And provide three great steps for how we will do a tour of our famous World War II sites. And lastly, I answer the question of, how do I know this is the right idea or answer? See my brilliant proof of my great idea? And now we've reached the bottom of the Minto Pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid is your conclusion. My conclusion summarizes the answer along with some of my key rationale. I hope I've not only convinced you to take a European vacation to visit the World War II historical sites with me this year, but also to give the Minto Pyramid process a try. Remember the pyramid. Start with the SCQA. Your key message or your answer comes in the beginning. The rest of your presentation presents the supporting arguments and rationale that tell the story naturally leading to the conclusion that your key message is correct.